Sabria Hunter, our player of the game, 23 points, 15 rebounds, three blocks, and three assists, helping Austin Town Fitch to win number nine of the season, topping Boardman by a final score of 54 to 42. Hi again, everybody. Chad Perspinski, so pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Falcons, Dan Schnurenberger, and our coach's post-game interview is brought to you by our friends with the Curbstone Coaches. And coach, congratulations on a hard-fought victory against a really good Boardman team. What was the difference down the stretch? Well, thanks. First of all, thanks, Chad. Uh, we made plays. We talk about making winning plays, and you know we made more um, winning plays at the end of the game. It kind of sloppy, but you know, I told the girls after I'd rather clean up some things off a win than clean up some things off a loss. But yeah, I mean, with, with a great player like Sabria, but Sabria got great teammates as well, and she knows that, and she appreciates her teammates, and they got her the ball at the right times. Of course, you win a fourth straight game, and Sabria gets a lot of the publicity, but you talked about some of those unsung heroes, the big triples. You, you look from Franck that, that really got you guys going and got you back into the game, and so many of your other role players. This team is a complete team, isn't it? Absolutely it is, and they play together. And uh, what I love about this team is they're great friends, too. They love each other off the court. Um, but with, with, the, with the seniors and the leadership that we have, and, um, and, and Jada did a, did a good job handling for us tonight and getting us into what we needed to get into. And like you said, Taylor Franck made some big shots, and those are momentum for us. And, and uh, you know, Maya Jackson, she's like our guts. You know, Maya Jackson is, uh, is a tough basketball player, her as well. You look at what Sabria was able to do just a force every time she's on the floor, whether it be underneath, whether it be on the defensive side, whatever it might be. I looked at the notes that you sent to me, and you said she's the hardest working player that you've ever coached. How special of a player is it, and what makes her so special? You know, we always talk about with our girls is be a good teammate, and part of being a good teammate is, is showing up in, in the fall, being in the best shape you could be in and having your skills better than they've ever been. Uh, being a good teammate is not just treating people the right way and this and that. Being a good teammate is being responsible and being accountable. And, and as you can see, she's, she's an accountable basketball player. She, she takes care of business off the court and, uh, you know, with her, with her options and, and opportunities here to play in college. But, yeah, she's, uh, she's special. With the talent and work ethic that you have with this group now, you've got to like the forecast. What will come in about a month from now when tournament play rolls around, You'd have to like your chances for this Falcon group. Yeah, I do. I do. And, and we, we do our best to schedule these girls, the, the tough non-conference games. And we went down to Columbus and saw some tough games down there, uh, saw some tough opponents down there. But, you know, that's what we do it for. We do it to uh, get ourselves prepared for the tournament and, you know, see where we're at, stack ourselves against the Cincinnati teams. And uh, we played a team from Canada as well, which, yeah, we, we do that. We want to see where we're at. Coach, congratulations on a huge victory here tonight, and best of luck down the stretch. We'll look forward to catching up with you again soon. All right, I appreciate it. That's Austin Town Fitch head coach Dan Schnurenberger. Fitch comes up with a victory, 54-42 over Boardman.